Howdy there, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, um, Heavy, Prepper Geek. Working on another little Nest Mug Diddy bag here. I know y'all can't see my face, but that's just kind of the way it is. Um, <laughs> kind of wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. Uh, you know, these are actually hand-stitched. Um, you have to forgive the way I'm holding the fabric. I know it's not proper sewing technique and what all. However, I do have some pretty rough arthritis in my hands. Too many years of swinging wrenches and beating on knives and axes and whatnot. But uh, I'm probably going to put a few of these up for sale. I've got a few extras I can make. So I kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit. The uh, the Diddy Bag video I just did in my Proving Nesmix series that I'm kind of working on. Um, everybody swore up and down that Nesmix Diddy Bag had to have weighed just the pouch had to have weighed two and a half ounces well you know if you're making out of a 600 or 1000 d nylon or something you know i can see that i can definitely see that um but you gotta remember that kind of stuff wasn't available in the mid 1800s um he actually says in his book and i you know i think a lot of the people that have commented on his ditty bag and his you know the contents thereof and stuff sometimes i swear they didn't read the book or if they read the book they skimmed the book more than actually read it because it's almost blatantly obvious that they didn't you know one one blog i read actually said that it actually included not only the contents of the ditty bag but the contents of the bullet pouch that the ditty bag goes in. Oh, Lord. My hands. Um, and he says very clearly in the book um, that the pouch is made out of chamois leather. Chamois, chamois, however you want to pronounce it. Well, chamois leather is very, very light sheepskin leather it's really strong it's very durable it really is um super absorbent um we all know that because you know a chamois cloth that you use to dry your car off when you're washing it that's chamois leather um so we all kind of know how absorbent it is i mean we love those things we're drying a car off this little piece right here which is enough for a four by six pouch which is what uh 12 and a half ish inches long this way and four and a half inches wide that way weighs like with the leather drawstring that i put on it and all the threading and everything else weighs like 0.4 ounces 0.4 four tenths of one ounce um you know if you were to make it out of 600d or something like that i'm sure it would be probably significantly heavier i mean 600d is not the lightest material it's lighter than some don't get me wrong and it, it is a good material for what it does um much better you know shedding water and stuff like that and if you're going to make an external pouch you know it's probably the better choice to go with but chamois leather like i said really strong really absorbent i wouldn't use it for a tinder pouch because it's just going to soak water either from the outside or the inside it doesn't really matter it's a non-directional absorbency i guess you could say um, like I said, four tenths of an ounce for a four by six pouch, two and a half square feet, which is what I bought to make the original pouch. And what I'm still working with here was two point, two point three nine ounces. I believe it was so incredibly, incredibly lightweight material. Um, perfect, perfect for little ditty bags, little pouches, stuff like that. Um, Especially back then, probably one of the better materials to use. So, like I said, I just wanted to do a quick little video, kind of show y'all what I'm working on. I'm going to stop this video here in a second. And, hang on, I'm distracted by what I'm doing. <laughs> and I'll restart it again when I start doing the vertical seams on this, because I'm just doing the hem across the top. I have one more side to him, and let's face it, you guys don't want to sit here and watch me sew this entire thing, because, man, with my hands, this is a tedious, tedious, tedious process, 
but I will show you the top hem of at least this one side before I stop. This is the top hem. It's probably a quarter inch of material. This will be the outside here. Let me flip this around. This will be the outside here. That is the inside there. So, all folded up, ready to go. See if I can get this right. Let's see. That is going to be roughly the size of this pouch. Oh, that's really bright on that side. That's roughly the size of this pouch. It's six inches on this side, four inches on this side. That's Nesmix Diddy Bag. And I have the finished version of the one that I made for the video right here. This is full of the contents and everything, which you saw in the video was two and a half ounces. That's it. That's it. I mean, I made this one yesterday. This is a possible pouch, whatever you want to call it. Now, this is an 18 inch diameter circle with a paracord drawstring, and it's, uh, hang on, I got my scale right here, as a matter of fact. If I can turn the thing on, it never, it never likes to turn on right for me. <laughs> it doesn't like my heavily calloused fingers. That pouch right there is eight tenths of an ounce with the paracord and everything. And like I said, it's an 18 inch diameter circle. So this stuff is really, really, really light. Um, good product to work with for these little things like this. And like I said, I'll probably be selling a few of these. Um, as I've got a bunch extra, I might as well do something with them. So stay tuned for that, I guess. I'll post a link at some point on the blog or on the Facebook page or do another video or something about that anyways. But since I'm just getting this channel started, I'm trying to put up some content and get things out there. But for now, that's what I got. Like I said, I'm going to do my other top hem. And I'll start the video again when I start doing the sides and start actually making the pouch type shape out of it. So, yeah. All right, I know I said I was gonna restart the camera as I was doing the sides, but as you can see, eventually, there we go. They're already finished. Um, it's really just, it's, it's too much of a pain to actually try to stitch these things up and film at the same time. At least with my current setup, um, may be able to do better. This is the inside of the pouch, actually. Um, anybody that sews knows you gotta turn this thing back inside out or right side too, whichever way you wanna call it. Um, I don't have leather strapping here as of yet. Um, I have some coming Tuesday, I believe. Um, so once I get the leather strapping here Tuesday, I will stitch that on and show you how that works. Um, I could show you on the other one, I suppose. But, you know, this one's going to be its own pouch, so let's just do this one. Um, hardest part about turning these inside out, especially when you're working with meat hooks and bear paws like I am, is definitely turning the corners out once they've been loaded up a little bit had some stuff in them they, they look a little bit better i think but it's just kind of it's very very difficult to get your corners to turn out properly unlike without that but anyways that is roughly a four by six ditty bag made out of chamois leather um traditionally i think this probably would have been stitched with sinew or something along those lines. Um, I used uh, upholstery thread. So it's still, it's a good durable thread. It's not sinew, obviously, by any stretch of the imagination, but it's still a very durable thread. Um, yeah, that's what I got. That is what I have. So, like I said, that with a leather strap on turns into this little ditty bag. So, yeah it's uh it is what it is but i wanted to do a little video on that i've got a couple of little ones i want to do um, like i said these will probably be for sale i'll have a few of them made i think i've got three more of these to make in this size i've got a one or two three by fives to make i think and an eight by six probably just the one of these i might actually keep that one myself i'm not sure yet but they will probably be for sale at some point and i will probably wind up making more of them if they go well um unfortunately i can't really get the camera up to see my face so yeah that's what i got a little product placement here i guess not a paid thing or anything but it's uh national concealed carry association i am one of their fields i'm part of their field staff crew um 
So if you guys are into concealed carry at all, go ahead and uh, check them out. Uh, TACX Pro Gear is their, their gear website. They got some pretty cool stuff over there. Pretty decent little program. I don't make anything off of it. It's a freebie thing. I'm just a rep. So, yeah. Anyways, product placement. That's what I got for right now. <laughs> I've got dinner sitting on the stove cooking. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably be back with something else before long. Yeah, yeah, probably before long. Alrighty, um, enjoy. Hope you like the videos. Um, when I do put these up, I'll make an announcement. Hope you all like them. They're probably not going to be much, like probably eight or ten bucks or something like that, because they are a pain in the neck to make, and my time is worth something. So, anyways, that's what I got. Um, right, I was, I'm always terrible at ending videos, I guess. But, that's what I got. That's all there is. That's all I got for today. Uh, I'm going to try this. This is on my old camera, which should still be 1080, but I'm not quite sure how it's going to turn out. We'll see. All right. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. The rest of your day is Sunday for me, so whatever day it is when you're watching this. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you out in the woods.